How you doing? E Holla, one of the DJs, Brownback All Stars, Eternal Affairs Entertainment. Tori, what up? What inspires me is when I'm with uh, the cir my circle. My circle isn't that big to begin with. Um, I like it that way, but like when I see them create records, when I see Element do cuts, when um, I do shows with Concept, when I see Wayne Ski spin, when I see Goldfinger get busy, when I see, you know, like I said, my small circle, when, I, when I'm doing shows with Torrey, mainly shows, but then like when, you know, our creative minds are so crazy because our imaginations, like little kids, like little five-year-olds on the playground, just pretending to be the Avengers or something. And then when we, when we see it all come to plan and we're here, you know, it's just like a, the, a beautiful feeling that people have paid money, came out to see us, support us, buy the records. It just keeps you to do, it inspires you to do more. You know, more, more music, more shows, more everything, just for the love of it. You know what I mean? You have to live hip-hop in order to really feel the way we all feel. You know, it's not a it's not a part-time thing, it's not a every now and then thing, it's not even a hobby. If it's a hobby, then you won't fall out of it like that. But if you love it, you live it, you know what I mean? Kango hat, shit like that, hip hop. I saw the Black Sheep Flavor of the Month video. Like how cool Drez was, and he still is, to this day making music, and he's still cool as shit. Like when I was younger, my first tape was Shut Him Down Remix on cassette. You know what I mean? Just stuff like that. One of my first shows, shows was um, a, a root show at, Hammers, at Hammerstein Ball in Manhattan. It was um, Roots, To Live, Dead Prez, and I think and Dice Raw, even though you know he was with the Roots. But just like that was the first time I heard the song Hip Hop by Dead Prez, and the whole building was jumping. You know, To Live, Quality Live was introducing Reflection Eternal, shit like that. And that's before I worked at Fat Beats, like with the rest of the guys. So something like that. It just was like, yo, I, I love this, you know what I mean? Like, you just, you a fiend to it. I mean, that's your drug, it is what it is. You know, I'm the only father in the group, so you have to balance your life with, with the music, you know what I mean? Because at times, you know, you have to travel, you know, with, with shows and, and events and stuff like that, and you have to make sure the, the important stuff, like, you know, your son, your daughter, whatever is straight. That's what it, that's the biggest challenge for me, is keeping up with the group because I have more life responsibilities, you know what I mean? So as long as my son is good, then I know I can go abroad, I know I can go to France, I know I can do whatever, you know what I mean? Because then I come back home, my son gets a pair of sneakers, like, I don't even see my show money, like, it goes to him, I work for him. Like how I would want my son to remember me, like, you know, when he's, when people see, when he's like sitting in the living room at a friend's house, or people seeing someone at whatever house, saying that they did that, he can be like, yeah, my dad did that, did that, you know what I mean? Just, like right now we have a mural in Sweden, so we ain't even, we're not even at the pinnacle, we're not even where we want to be at. Just like how Brown Mac wants to make their stand, but we, we did it in the game, that's how I want to be remembered. Like, yeah, E. Holler, Eric Holler, whatever, he was here, you know what I mean? He did his thing.